My brother hates me. You know, I'm never going to forgive him. He takes everything too seriously. So the other week, we decided to go to the gym. Which makes it almost impossible not to wind him up. And Tyler said he'd meet me there. You know, I should have smelt a rat when he didn't show. As soon as I stepped in those changing rooms, I knew. Oh yes, I knew. Couldn't resist, could I? Now you don't expect your own brother, do you, to swap around the signs on the door? Do you? No. He locked me in those girls' change rooms. Super glue. Oh, stuck in there for five hours. Five hours. It took him five hours to open them doors. <laughs> five hours. And he knows I don't like <laughs> being trapped at the best of times. And there are no toilets. So my weak bladder didn't help. Why? Wow. <laughs> I mean, the only thing good about it was there was this gorgeous girl, and I it was a total hero, wasn't I? Poor girl. Looked like she wanted to top herself when she came out. Like, you should see him chatting to us all. I was calming her down, making sure she was all right, being a total gentleman. Hi. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, God, I've forgotten who I am. Uh, oh, oh, it's a nice weather we're having, isn't it? Typical me, eh? Forgot to get a number. I caught up with her after. Yeah, I saw her a couple of times. Sweet girl. Yeah, of course I'll forgive him. But I'll make him sweat a bit first. I know what I'll do. Yeah, I'll invite him out. No, I'm brassic at the moment, but I can usually raid his wallet for a tenner when he ain't looking. Because he needs to see the error of his ways. And I'll break that tenner up into two fibers so he won't suspect nothing. Yeah, and when he goes to pay for the drinks, I'll jump in like one of the three musketeers and I'll be like, no, bruv, I'll get this. Works every time. You know, Ty, he sees life as like one big laugh. I mean, that's a good way to see life up to a point, but he can't let that go too far. Also, he can't handle his booze, so after a couple, I just raid his wallet at will. People look at us and I've, I know what they're thinking. You know, how can them two be brothers? How can one be such a doofus and the other one, well, so refined? I mean, if you're wondering, I'm, I'm the refined one. He's a doofus. I mean, he could do with being a bit more like me. But when you've got as many issues as he has, then... I mean, it all gets buried under an avalanche of trouser-wetting angst. Yeah, I could have gone to university. You see, I'm, I'm clever like that. But that's it, it's a mugs game. You learn what you need to learn as and when you need to learn it. The only thing I learn is... You shouldn't listen to Dad. He worries too much. I mean, he thinks of consequences and naff stuff like that. Like, in the Bible, not that I read it, but... It says, worrying won't make you live longer. It'll just feel like it. If Tyler didn't play his jokes on me, I'd be a bit disappointed. Because it's his way of showing me that he cares. I and mean, we're not the type of blokes that go around hugging other blokes. But we're the more keep it all hidden types. But in keeping it hidden, we're really showing that nothing's hidden, you know? It's all right there. When I say he hates me, I mean, he loves me. <laughs> He's a doofus like that. But I do love him. <laughs>